Hi guys, in this video I'm just going to show you the very basics of setting up a Google website for your multimedia portfolio. I've just opened up Google Sites, so that's sites.google.com and we're just going to go to a blank template. Okay, so we've got a blank template. Let's set up our home page. Let's make sure we've got the pages we need. So go to pages. So we've got this plus button here. Now, when we hover over that, you'll see you've got options, new page or new link. So you can put links on here, but we want to create a new page. First thing you're going to do then is set up all the pages that you need. Now this next bit's really important. Make sure you're paying attention to this part. Very important. So if you're year 10, follow along. If you're year nine, make sure you are setting up the ones that you need for that class. So did you get that? Really important. Set up the pages that you need for your class, not just the ones that I'm demonstrating here. Cool, okay. Okay, that'll do for now. There could be more, but that's a start. So let's go back to our home page. What we want for our home page is we want to have some information about you. And because it's a multimedia website, I want you to also include multimedia items such as images, maybe an animated GIF or two, maybe even a link to a YouTube video about a thing that you like, maybe a music video that you love, or a video about a hobby that you enjoy dirt bike riding or skateboarding, whatever it is. Um, put a link there and then write a little description about it too. So the text aspect is also part of multimedia. How do we do that? We can get started by double clicking, adding T for text and we can write something. When you're inserting images from the web, you can just drag them straight in from the web. With YouTube videos, just copy the link, click on the body of your website and then Command V or Control V to paste and then it will bring up the video and you can just pop it straight in. Resize it if you need to. So you can resize things by double clicking on them you can crop things in. You can resize by just grabbing these little handles here. A bit laggy sometimes. And you can uncrop by clicking on this button. So I really want you to be able to put all of your personality onto this page. Mine's not so great, but it's, it's fine. It does the job. Also what we want next is for you to have link buttons on your home page that point to these other pages. And I have a video that explains how to do those as well. I'll put a link to that at the end of this video. So as I said earlier, instead of having the actual writing here, I want you to put the writing in an image. Um, and I have a video for that as well. That's called Awesome Text Overlays. Uh, I'll put a link to that at the end of this video as well. And that will look great. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and we'll have a look at it once I've finished. 346 minutes later. Delete this. And I'm just gonna drag that file in that I've downloaded. So for my header type, I'm probably gonna go for a large banner. Background looks a bit boring, so I can change that image. All right, so I'm gonna put in a background image instead of that gray. I'm gonna put in a GIF, why not? Oh, I like that. Whoa, it's just a little bit too hectic for me. And you don't want to spend all day doing this either. You want to pretty much pick something and forget it. So I'm going to go with the first one. Yep, that'll look. Just need to do those buttons. 24 hours later. So let's drag on the first button. I'm going to put it at the top section here. Click on it and link it to my Photoshop page and apply. Simple as that. I 
Okay, so they're my three buttons. So when I preview it, my website looks like this. Not too bad, not too shabby, and those buttons work. Now, we've got a problem because this looks boring. So we want you to do a similar thing for your headings for your other pages. Moment later. So where I've created these buttons in Google Drawings, I'm just going to get rid of the background and just have the image and the writing for my heading for my page. That's my quick way of getting around it. I'm just going to download that as a PNG, of course. I'm just going to drag it into my site. New size. And crop. Yep, that'll do. And I've already done this one. And I've done this one. All you need to do now is publish your website. We're going to publish. Give it a name. Make sure it hasn't been used before. And that'll be your web address. Click on publish. And if you're on your home page, you want to get a copy of that link. Click on that. Copy it. And then, once you've copied it, go to your Google Classroom, go to the assignment that says uh, Website Portfolio or something to that effect. Go to the area that says Add Work, click on that, and add a link. And just paste the link in to that and submit that. Too easy. And then, use your website often to update. Put all your work on there, write written reflections, put them on the relevant pages, and Remember to continue to republish your website after your changes so that I or your teacher, whoever it is, can see the changes. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.